In this video, we're going to be explaining the process from inquiry and application through to enrolment on a course. Firstly, if you inquire about any of our courses, you will be assigned a personal admissions advisor, such as me or one of my colleagues. This means you'll have a single point of contact to streamline the application process. We understand that finding the right institution and course for you is a huge decision, and we want to help you establish whether Essex Online is the right fit for you. We're here to offer you guidance on your options and provide assistance for our application process until you start your student journey. Once you've decided that one of our courses is the course for you, we would encourage you to submit an application. The prospect of submitting an application may seem daunting, but it's actually pretty simple to apply to study with us, and it's free to apply. I'm going to talk you through the five easy steps that you'll need to take to complete an application. If for any reason you're not able to complete your application in one sitting, don't worry, as you can save your progress at each step and resume your application at another time, which is convenient for you. Step one, visit online.essex.ac.uk slash apply. You'll then see our online application form. On this page, you'll need to fill in the details about yourself, such as contact information and the course that you'd like to study. Step two, fill in your address. Step three, you'll need to share how you'll fund your tuition fees. We provide a range of funding options, including scholarships and discounts. The details of these aren't listed on the application form, so I'll tell you a bit about those now. For those of you that are self-funding your course, we can offer you a monthly payment plan. If you pay your whole tuition fee up front, we're able to offer you a full payment discount. Alternatively, you may be able to get a student loan to study our bachelor's and master's degrees if you're based in England and deemed eligible by Student Finance England. Or if you're overseas, we offer students based in certain regions a partial scholarship towards tuition fees. Finally, if you're a graduate from the University of Essex or the University of Essex Online, you could take advantage of our alumni discount. Back to the application and step four. This first part is focused on your education history and work experience. The second part asks you to upload supporting documents, including a copy of your CV, education and or professional certificates, as well as an official form of photo ID, for example, your passport or driving license or government ID. The third part involves providing a personal statement. On the application form, we've included pointers to help you write your statement, but if you are struggling, reach out to your admissions advisor and they'll be more than happy to guide you. Step five, we just need a few more personal details from you, which we are required to collect by the Higher Education Statistics Agency. Lastly, we need you to confirm the information you've given in the application form is true, complete and accurate, and then click Submit Form and you're done. So, what happens after you've submitted your application? Once your application has been received by your admissions advisor, they will aim to process it as quickly as possible. You can expect a call or email from them within the next couple of days. They will let you know whether any additional documents are required to support your application. Then, if your admissions advisor is happy your application is the best reflection of you and contains all the documents required, they will pass it on to an admissions manager to be reviewed. If you're suited to study the course you've applied for, your admissions advisor will be in touch regarding the next stage. On the other hand, if you're deemed not eligible for the course you've applied for, we will consider any alternative course options for you and your advisor will be in touch to discuss these. After this, you will receive your formal offer letter and formally accept your place by submitting an online acceptance form. You'll also receive your payment plan and need to send us your deposit payment. And this is also when you'll get your indicative study plan and access to the virtual environment so you can start getting excited about your first few modules. Congratulations, you're now enrolled on your course. At this point, you'll be handed over to a dedicated student support team for your department. They'll guide you from your first day up until you graduate.